Good morning. The Supreme Court hearing arguments over excluding illegal immigrants from the 2020 census. Joining me to explain the implications, former DHS Oversight Counsel and Senior Advisor Mike Howell. Good morning. Good morning. So President Trump um, wants to exclude illegal immigrants from the census, um, and that count is used to figure out how many House seats each state gets. He says that if you include illegal immigrants, it incentivizes states to promote illegal immigration. Uh, what happened during yesterday's Supreme Court hearing, and, and why is this important? Right. So first off, the, the president doesn't want to exclude them from the census. The Supreme Court had ruled about a year ago that they, they could not do that. Uh, what he wants to do is send a number to Congress for apportionment purposes. That is determining the total number of uh, seats you get in each state for Congress. And that number should be based off of the uh, amount of illegal uh, you know, citizens in that area to exclude illegal aliens. So the Supreme Court was grappling with this question yesterday. It came up from appeals. Uh, the appeals court basically said that it could have a chilling effect on uh, participation in the census. Now that the census taking is over, that's no longer the case. They also argued that uh, this will have an injury to states because some states will lose representation in an unfair way. Uh, the Supreme Court was told yesterday that we aren't sure how the data will work out. So it's way too speculative to even uh, try to figure out what the injury would be, which is a requirement, uh, to, to each state. So the Supreme Court had a bunch of questions whether, you know, it's the right time to hear this case. We don't have the final numbers. And uh, there's a lot of back and forth be between the parties over the relevant precedent and case law, including, you know, the, the census director and the secretary of commerce having a lot of authority to kind of, uh, at the direction of the president, entertain these policy questions. Yeah. Uh, they've done this before, you know, with uh, uh, foreign citizens who are traveling in the country or on business. Uh, as well as the issue of what to do with, you know, military members on, on base in a district or, or overseas. Yeah, and, you know, one of the reasons some say that President Trump might have a tough time winning this is because the Constitution, the way it's worded, it sort of um, it points to all residents being counted in the census, not all citizens. And that's a point that Judge Amy Coney Barrett was even mulling over yesterday. Is that right? Right. The, the relative word, or relevant word here is persons. Yeah. Uh, that has been construed to mean inhabitants, which has been construed to mean people with an allegiance to an area, an enduring ties. Uh, I think it's fair to say illegal aliens have no allegiance to the United States. Their allegiance is to their home country. They have not renounced their allegiance to their home countries and becoming a U.S. citizen. Uh, so that is, you know, one of the questions they are dealing with. I think from the policy aspect, uh, it's a slam dunk. Of course, illegal aliens should not be counted for congressional districts. They cannot vote. They are not U.S. citizens. This is not their, their home country to which they bear an allegiance. It can't be drafted for the military or, or perform jury service. They're simply not relevant for the purposes of determining yeah. how our, as Americans, congressional districts should be structured. Yeah, and of course, all of this is important because it decides the House seats and the amount of federal funding each state gets. And, you know, every state wants a bigger slice of that pie. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for watching the Heritage Foundation's YouTube channel. With more than half a million members, we are the nation's largest conservative research and education institution. We believe the principles and ideas of the American founding are worth conserving and renewing. Please help us further our mission by subscribing to this channel and sharing our videos with your family and friends.